Brandy, somebody on Reddit said, you only need five bourbons. Five bourbons? That's it? Yeah. Let's talk about this one. Raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks. Raise your drinks up. Raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. So, we heard about three or four months ago, someone on Reddit said, you really only need five bourbons in the house. As you can see, we have a little bit more than five bourbons over here. But that's beside the point. But what they did is they listed five different categories and they put what they thought were the five bourbons that you should have for those occasions. And what we're going to do is talk about those categories and what bourbons we'll put in those categories. And something special that I decided for my cigar smokers, I'm going to try to provide five cigars, or maybe more than five, that <laughs> of I want to, <laughs> that I would list in those categories as well. So let's start. The first category they had was daily drinker. And so what I and Brandy also, yes. what we uh, thought would be a great daily drinker because it's not too expensive, it's a great bourbon, mm -hmm. is Early Times Bottled in Bond. Now this one, 23 to $25 is what? A hundred proof? Yes. hundred proof. A larger than normal bottle, <laughs> which makes it even more of a daily drinker. It's a liter versus the 750 milliliters. Um, and it's just a great bourbon. It gives me more that he has to share with, you know? <laughs> I share everything with Brandy, right? Well, almost. Certain bourbons, maybe... Yeah, whatever. We'll get to that one. Um, but anyway, this is a great daily sipper. We just feel like this one, you could sip on a daily. It's not too strong. 100 proof. It's not, you know, barrel proof and things like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this one is great. I, I like the tasty notes of this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Early time. <laughs> Bottled in five. What? <laughs> Nothing. And so, in this category for cigars, I don't smoke cigars daily. I normally just smoke on the weekend. So, it was tough to put which one I would say for the daily. But I picked the Rocky Patel Old World Reserve, Reserve Corojo. This one is about a nine to $10 cigar. It's not, you know, the five to six dollars, which people may smoke those more on a daily basis. But I felt like this one would be a good one to smoke on a daily basis. All right. So then the next category. Impress your guests. Mm -hmm. I have Colonel Taylor. And I mean, look at this. Wouldn't you be impressed if someone brought this out and said, hey, I got a drink for you. Would you like to taste this? Right. <laughs> right. You'd be like, how much is that? Right. He's got this nice container and everything. And then you tell him it's from Buffalo Trace Distillery. And they're like, oh, Buffalo Trace. Right? Yeah. I felt like that would be, that would be good. And so I have something very similar. This is Booker's. And so again, Booker's has this nice container, you know, you slide this open and you pull it out for them. <laughs> this one specifically is the 2019 Beaten Biscuits, but whatever one it is, I feel like if they see this, this right here, they'd be like, oh my God, what is that? Let's talk about it. And then it's made by Jim Beam. So everybody or most people have heard of Jim Beam every once in a while. So I felt like this would be good. And both of them are good bourbons. Yeah. You know. And I just remember when I first saw them, I was like, wow, how much, <laughs> how much are those? Right. You sure we can afford those? <laughs> so. Yeah, right. And they're not like super expensive. I think Colonel Taylor MSRP is 40 bucks. Now, Booker's is a little bit more expensive and it's been going up 
recently. I think it's like 65 to 70. So a little bit more expensive. So they must be special. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and and one other one that I wanted to just throw in that category, and I'll tell you why, is the Russell Reserve Single Barrel. Now this is a great bourbon and it's about 50 bucks, maybe 55 or so, but this one specifically is a store pick. So I just felt like store pick bourbons just creates a whole different conversation about talking about what a store pick is, what people have to, or what the stores go through to pick those. And this one, like it has on here, private barrel selection. So when they see that, you know, they're like, whoa, how'd you get that private barrel selection? <laughs> what does that mean? You know, so it's just something else that just creates a conversation and it would impress your guess. All right. So the next category we have is something great. And oh, I'm sorry. Cheap mixer. <laughs> I messed up. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Wait, not yet. Did y'all see that look she gave me? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? You messing this up. <laughs> gave y'all a preview. Sneak peek. Right. <laughs> so our mixer is very old barton it's 15 by 12 to 15 dollars mm -hmm. so it's a great bourbon to use for your mixer drinks and you know if you have a large party and you need to make a large batch this would be it it's a mm -hmm. hundred proof you know a great bourbon and even if you want to make it like a daily sipper as mm -hmm. well you yeah. can because it's 15 dollars yeah but yeah i think this will be a great mixer yeah i agree and as you can see We've enjoyed it a lot, <laughs> but no, I agree. Great mixer. All right. <laughs> now. Now. Now we have. Do you have anything for cigars for this? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, did I forget to say cigars for the other one? I'm sorry, y'all. He's fired. So impress, <laughs> impress your guests. Let me just put this down. I don't even have a uh, mixer one. So that's, that's, I planned that one. I yeah. planned that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure y'all was paying attention. So the impress your guests. I would say my first impress your guess one is a Cohiba. So this is a Cuban. And when people hear Cohiba, they're like, oh my God, what what is that one? You know, Cuban, Cohiba, kicks off the conversation. The next one I have for impress your guess is a Partagas. This is another Cohiba, or another Cohiba. This is another Cuban. Partagas, Siri P number two. Just the, the Cuban cigar conversation that is you know people are just yeah. intrigued by cuban cigars how'd you get it exactly how'd you <laughs> get it i got it from cigar one thanks mark but you know this is, these two are ones that i would say and there are other ones obviously but two that are really just people just tend to flock towards that conversation when they hear those names now now, something great <laughs> for the weekend. I have Bardstown. Mm -hmm. And this is the Fusion series. Now this is one of my this is one of my go-to. I keep this hid away. Because <laughs> he has enough to choose from. <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> I like this one. Yep, she does. <laughs> but it has um three different blends of bourbon um it has a 13 year in it and two three year bourbons in it so mm -hmm. i like this one this is a good go-to and that's the uh, is that the fusion you it's said it's the fusion mm -hmm. yes okay yeah no that's that's a good bourbon and you know i try not to mess with brandy's that's her go-to i really don't touch it because i know that's her stuff now only because it's just the one that i really yeah, you know yeah. and it's it's about it's about sixty dollars yeah it may be yeah somewhere around yeah. there Some, you so know, maybe it a is, little less so, you know yeah. I, I mean we've had this for i've had this for a few months mm -hmm. so you see i'm drinking it slowly <laughs> but it is like if i really had a, like a rough week mm -hmm. this is like my weekend you know one hour drink on the weekend mm -hmm. and so for me old forester 1920. If you haven't seen this video, we talk about this one a lot. Brandy is uh, very, she makes fun of me in that video. Uh, it's called the, what, Great 
high proof bourbons that you always find on the shelf, yes. something like that. Check that video out. But the Old Forester 1920, it's 115 proof, so it has that kick to you, you know, to it. Actually, what I have right here, and it's just a great bourbon. I really enjoy this one. It's one of those, and I said in that video, it, when it comes in the house, you better drink it because I'm gonna drink it because I really, <laughs> for sure, I really enjoy this one. But no, it's a great bourbon, and I like that you can find this one all the time. So it's not like you gotta search and hunt and all that type of stuff. Most stores will have this if they. They may not have it in stock at the time, but they just are, you know, restocking or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, great one. And so for the weekend, I'll just leave it here. Okay. Uh, for the weekend, I picked a couple other cigars. I think, you know, as a, again, people can decide what they like. But for me, I had the H. Upman Magnum 50. So this is again another Cuban. It's a medium, a little bit full, maybe medium slash full, or whatever, but a great cigar. And then I also have a new uh, cigar that we've been trying the different types of, Bowtie. So this Bowtie, this one is the White Label Couture. This is a medium strength cigar, very flavorful, just a great cigar. And I would definitely, if you haven't tried Bowtie Cigars, check them out. And I like it because he has a story behind the cigars. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's one of those things where you can, you know, talk, or not talk about it, but just learn more about it you know, over the weekend. But this is a great cigar. All right. So the last category we have is special occasion <laughs> GTS and old rip and old rip these are two great bourbons and if you know anything about bourbons you know they're hard to come by highly allocated uh, and so when you get them you want to take your time with them yeah and we been doing that yeah <laughs> for the most part you know you can see this one's been drunk a little bit more i think we got this one first but yeah we did yeah but it's a good you know special occasion you know say 17 years of wedding bliss and <laughs> you know you want to celebrate that i don't know i think she's trying to tell me i need to have uh some bourbon in her glass one of these <laughs> on our anniversary coming up but no, I agree. These are great bourbons that you want to just enjoy them, savor them, you know? Yeah. These and have a great cigar to go with and it. And have a great cigar. And actually, we have a video coming out on George T. Stagg, and we've done a video on the old rip. So, for cigars. So, I had two Davidoff cigars. They were Master Blend Selection cigars. <laughs> but when we got these two bottles, I considered those two special occasions and I smoked <laughs> one with each of them. Um, and so what I have here is the Fuente Anejo Shark. This one is a limited edition cigar. I believe it only comes out once, maybe twice a year. Wow. So when you see these in the store, pick them up. And they only allow you normally to get maybe two of these cigars. So, you know, because they're not, they're pretty rare. They're not uh, out there that often. So, the Fuente uh, Anejo Shark is a great one. Or the Davidoff Master Blend Selection. And, you know, if you have a special cigar that you want to try out for your special occasions, I would say that's the one for you. Well, we hope you enjoyed our video today. We wanted to just get in on the uh, five bourbons. And what I'll do, because we weren't selected to do this, people were selecting people to do it, but I'll, I'll select the bourbon judge. Bourbon judge, let's hear about your five bourbons that you would uh, say for these different categories. And uh, I love to hear about what your selections are as well. Tag, you're it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we thank you for joining us today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please also share with your family and friends. And we will talk to you next time. <laughs>
Talk to you later.